morning guys it is a different type of video today it's a video explaining where i've been why i haven't uploaded a video in maybe five weeks or more i am not exactly sure but yeah i just want to take you along some of my day today and explain what's been going on before i dive into all of that though what are we doing today well i'm on a walk every day for the past six weeks i've been taking a four mile walk all the way to starbucks to get a drink and that has helped me get back into moving my body it's helped clear my mind it's i don't know it's got me back into exercising and feeling good and because i kind of had to take a mental health break from the youtube channel and so this is what i've been doing i've been focusing on me i've been focusing on getting my body my soul my mind in a good spot and this is part of it. Every morning I take a walk and I don't put any pressure on myself. I just tell myself I'm gonna walk all the way down the street to Starbucks, which it's two miles from here. So it's two miles there and two miles back. And I get a drink. My drink of choice is an iced coffee with a splash of almond milk and two Splendas. And so that's what I do every single morning. I walk to Starbucks and get a coffee and then I walk home and it has made <sighs> such a difference. So what I have found to help me so much on these walks is listening to books, audiobooks. Oh my gosh, I almost dated myself and said books on tape. <laughs> audiobooks. So I listen to a good uplifting audiobook. Um, right now I'm listening to, it's called, it's a Priscilla Schreier, Dr. Tony Evans book, Divine Disruptions. That has been an amazing book. I'm listening to that. I catch up on all my Marco Polos with family members. It's just a great way to start the day. If you're a type nine like me, this is what I found works. And if, you, if you're a type nine or any other type, let me know what works for you. I'm always looking for new ideas, new audiobooks, anything like that. Put them down below. Oh my goodness, it is so hot out here. Holy moly. I'm sweating so bad. I've made it to Starbucks and I just realized I didn't order my Starbucks yet. So usually about five minutes before I get here, I get on the Starbucks app and I quick order my drinks. It's so hot. Whew. And my hair. We got some crazy hair going on. Who cares? Okay, coffee is ordered. I'm just gonna stand out here and wait, but okay, let me just show you how cute is the Starbucks location. It's so cute, right? Okay, so let's get back to the reason why I'm even doing this video today. One, I definitely wanna do a little bit more vlog styles in the future, and so we're trying this out, guys. And two, here's what I wanna cover today. I wanna talk about mental health, I wanna talk about comparison. I wanna talk about just feeling tired and worn out and not able to do maybe what you know you're called to do. That's kind of what we're gonna flesh out together today. Where I've been for the past five weeks, what I've been focusing on, I haven't fully like stepped away from this channel. Um, my Enneagram Instagram channel is still, you know, going and trucking along, but then also there's things that go on in the world that sometimes just throw me for a loop and it's hard to show up. And so that's what I've been struggling through, all those things. And so I wanna kind of break down each one of them and discuss it a little bit. But first, I'm gonna go get my coffee. I'm gonna go back home because I think it's way too loud and too hot to fully discuss those on this walk. Once we get back to the house, we're gonna dive in. Guys, I literally walked in there, grabbed my drink, walked out. This mobile ordering thing is the best. See you at the house. Okay guys, I did it. I am almost at my house. <sighs> drink is almost gone. Sweat is pouring down the face. It's like 85 degrees. Maybe that doesn't seem very hot to you, but for some reason, it's very hot to me. <laughs> gonna get like 113 here today so yeah 
Arizona living at its best. Oh my gosh, sweat is getting in my eyeball. But I'm gonna go clean up and I'll see you guys soon. Oh, I forgot. Who thinks it's their turn for a walk? Is it your turn for a walk? I have to take him now because the ground's gonna get way too hot for his paws. And so I take him before eight o'clock in the morning so that he doesn't burn his feet. Here we go. Let's make sure I'm in the frame. Let's get you guys nice and centered. Is that how I like this? Yeah, I think so. I think back here would be the best. Um, okay, so I wrote down some things that I wanna go over with you guys. I'm back. I look a little more decent. I didn't wanna get too ready though because I'm jumping in the pool later and my girlfriend's coming over and we're gonna go swimming since it is gonna be so hot today. My pool is at 90 degrees. Guys, it's perfect. I know people would probably say, no, I would want it cooler. I don't. I love when it's hot outside and the pool is about 90 degrees. It's the perfect temp, so. But I digress. I've written some things down. <sighs> Where have I been? The last new YouTube video that I put out was around seven weeks ago. But truth be told, I had been putting out videos for the last few years pretty consistently. I have taken breaks here and there, but I'm pretty, I've am i been trying to be pretty consistent. And I think I kind of sort of burned myself out. <laughs> um, but there were some things that led up to why that happened. I kind of lost what I need to be inspired. Like I need to be inspired. I need to know that these are making a difference. And I think I kind of, started go, to go down this like comparison lane. Um, I started comparing myself with other people in my same lane. And I just felt why, why even be in that lane? Maybe, you know, I'd compare numbers and think, well, I'm not doing as well. So why even show up? Like these are some of the toxic thoughts that I was having in the YouTube world. And so it got harder and harder just to show up and be me. And I think that's just what happens when we start to go down that toxic line of thought of comparing ourselves or we just all of a sudden we don't feel like we're as good as the other person or whatever and we compare you know like I was thinking that maybe I need to be funny I'm not really funny <laughs> right I'm really not I'm not that funny I'm a type nine guys like it's just hard for me to do that but you know, those were some of the thoughts that I was having, or maybe I needed to be more educational and not as educational and different things. And so, yeah, I, I just want to be really raw and honest with you guys and say, yeah, I was comparing myself to people in my same lane and I just kept coming up short in my own head. Has it ever happened to you? I have to imagine it has. And my goal today is maybe me opening up and being honest with you will help you feel not alone because it happens to all of us. And so what did I do? How did I get out of that comparison, toxic thought pattern that I was in? Well, I had to go back and, and remember why I started YouTube. Why did I start teaching? Why did I turn on a camera, get in front of you guys and teach you all about the Enneagram? I had to re-remember my why. And my why is so that you guys understand and learn about yourself so that you you feel seen, you feel heard, you feel understood, you feel okay in your own body. I wanted to help others fully embrace who they were made to be and stop trying to be somebody else. Because so many times in my line of work, I would hear, well, I'm a type this, but I wish I was this type. And I wanted to help people understand that that's, that's not healthy, that's not good. And I want you to learn about yourself and why you are the way you are and why you were made the way you are and what makes you special, what makes you unique and what, there's only one of you in this whole entire world. And so my goal is always to help you show up to your own life. But I had to coach myself with those same exact words because as much as I can coach 
and show up for you guys and, you know, all of that, I found myself realizing like, Hillary, you're not even listening to what you're teaching. You're not realizing that same thing, that there's only one of you and that others need you to show up to your space. And so that's what helped me break out of the comparison box, the comparison box that I was putting myself in and realize like, you know what? There is only one of me and I wanna show up and just be me and be exactly like this, right? And on that walk and I was hot and sweaty and this is who I am. I'm a Enneagram type nine with a wing eight, formerly one wing. That's another story for another day. But yeah, this is who I am and I wanna show up to this space so that you guys feel seen and you feel loved and you feel heard and you understand that your lane is the only lane you should be in. Just like I needed to learn that same exact lesson. So that's kind of what happened um, in a nutshell. And then I realized the thoughts and the behaviors that I was exhibiting, you know, wasn't healthy for me, wasn't healthy for my mental state. And so I realized I'm going to pull back and I'm going to re, you know, find myself, find all of those things I was saying and re remember, is that how you say it? Re remember who, who I am. And so that's what I did. I just pulled away and it's okay. I honestly wasn't afraid of pulling away from this space. Um, there's plenty of videos out there for you guys so that, you know, you were still watching them. You were still commenting. I felt like you still were getting what you needed while I stepped away and just kind of, um, poured into myself a little bit and, focused on myself. And like I said, taking these walks every day and listening to audiobooks and just really investing and pouring back into myself, which is just as important for you guys to do um, as it is for me to do. And so that's where I've been. And that's what happened. It's a little bit of, you know, getting my mental health back in a really good place. It's realizing that um, comparison, what do they say? Comparison is the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what happened. And realizing that I'm in my lane, everyone else is in their lane, and we just need to cheer each other on. And I I honestly can say I never stopped cheering others on. As much as I compared myself, I still cheered them on, and I still want everybody in my lane to do great. Because if they do great, that means you guys are doing better. That means you guys are getting fed. That means you guys are getting what you need. And so I do think that we need to always uplift each other, cheerlead each other on, and just make sure we're doing that. Sometimes when I, I will say, sometimes when I, in the past, have gotten into this uh, space, I have made myself reach out to somebody in my own lane and cheer them on. Because it's, you know, I'm like, no, I am not gonna let comparison win. I'm not gonna let it steal my own joy. And I'm gonna keep cheering other people on too. So that's a little bit of where I've been and what's been going on. And I hope this helped you guys today. I hope this helped you feel like if you're going through the same season, it's okay. This is an okay season to go through. And it's okay if you're not okay. Just like it was okay that I wasn't okay. And it was okay for me to step away from this space for a a period of time. I just had to realize that in order for me to really show up and be who I'm meant to be, I have to make sure that my tank is full if that makes sense, you know, um, too. I released myself at the beginning from feeling guilty and feeling like, oh, I can't, I, I gotta keep showing up because I don't think it's always great if we keep showing up from an empty place. So that's what happened. That's why I went dark. <laughs> Are we gonna call this my dark period? No, we're not. <laughs> Truthfully, I just wanna call it my quiet season. It's my season where I was like, okay, time to refocus, you know, reinvest in myself and get back on track and all of those good things. And there was no time period for me. Like I didn't say like, okay, I'm going to take five weeks off. I said, okay, I'm pulling back. We'll see what happens because I wanted it to be an honest pullback and honest, like, look at myself, what's going on. What are you struggling with? Cause at the beginning, I didn't know what I was struggling with. At the beginning, I was just feeling burned out and I didn't understand why. Now I understand why because of the things I was doing. So, and I actually, I want to pull something up on my phone. Somebody posted on uh, my YouTube channel the other day and they have no idea, but this helped me so much. I'm not gonna read the entire thing. The entire comment really, really hit right here and made such a difference. I'm just gonna read the bottom part of this really long comment, um, but I just wanna let you know, if this is your comment, you made a difference for me that day. But at the very bottom, this person wrote, thanks for taking the time to make all of these videos and share your knowledge with us. God bless you.
And I was like, and the whole thing, it says so much good stuff, but I just was like, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to tell me that because sometimes we need that too, right? So if you've ever left me a comment like that, I just want to take the time right now to say thank you. It makes a difference. And I don't know, this comment just really is what I needed during that day. Again, it was really cool, long comment. Um, let me see what video, oh, I don't know what video it was on, but it was great. But thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for, you know, watching my channel. And I just pray and hope that it makes such a difference in your life. And that is all I have for today. I think this video is way too long, <laughs> but oh, let me tell you what's coming up because I really have found my groove again. I'm like, I'm excited to make videos again. And while I'm still gonna, I'm gonna do vlog style videos like this because these really do give me life and I really love them. I have another YouTube channel um, called Van Kasky's where my husband and I, we have um, a Tolaro Class B van and it's just a vlog. And I, I really fell, fell in love with vlogging. And so if you wanna go give that a watch, I'll link that right here. But anyway, so I love this vlog style teaching. So I'm gonna keep doing that. But also, um, what's coming? 10 signs on wings. So I'm breaking all the wings down and I'm gonna um, give you like 10 signs that you might be a uh, one wing two or nine wing eight or four wing five or anything like that. That is coming. I'm very excited about that series. Yeah, there's just, I've got a lot I wrote down. It kind of like got me really excited to be in front of the camera again and teach you guys, but I'm gonna do a mixture. I'm gonna do a vlog mixture. I'm gonna do a teaching mixture and that is what's coming your way. My goal is one video a week. We're gonna try that, so. But that's all I have for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching today. Leave me a comment letting me know what this video meant to you. And um, yeah, until next time, bye guys.